Eind 1990. De grote prijs van Nederland wordt gewonnen door La Lupa. Samen met bands als Maximum Bob, Gotcha en Beat Cream zijn zij het symptoom van een nieuw virus dat de vaderlandse pop scene in haar greep heeft. De Pepperitus. Trouwens ook in Amerika lijkt de opmars van deze Pepperitus niet meer te stuiten. Het is like a whole, it's a whole huge scene of you know, funk, metal. Rock, rap, whatever you want to call it. The live bands trying to play funk, you know, bass players stomping and singers jumping around trying to be Anthony and, you know, the whole thing. And, um, you know, we started the whole thing. It's us. We deserve the credit. I mean, it's just not to brag or to boast, but it's just a fact of the matter. I mean, the fact is we started it and we're the guys and, you know, that's it. It's plain and simple. <laughs> In de zomer van 1990 maken de Peppers een lucratieve deal over de verkoop van Chili Peppers t-shirts, petjes en andere merchandising. Van het geld kopen de vier bandleden elk een huis in de Hollywood Hills. Onrust beleefde het mee. It's nice here, my god. Look at the palm trees and the Yeah, home stars of the rich and famous, yeah. Some of my neighbors are Diane Keaton. She's a famous American actress. You guys know who Diane Keaton is? Yeah. And um, I think uh, another actor, actor Nicholas Cage. You know who he is? Oh sure. Yeah. He's uh, he lives down this road here. He drives a Harley. We like, you know, nod to each other when we drive by. I don't know him, no, but hmm. since I just moved in, and I met these people here, they're very nice. Um, I'm gonna play golf with them. And he has. A, I met him at actually the going away party for the the hose. There's a couple of Japanese couple that lived here before I moved in the hose, so I got, hose, my, huh? I got my house from a couple of hoes, you know what I mean? And, um, I met this guy there, and he has a little hearing aid thing, you know? Yeah. So I said, we're going to get along just fine. You just tune that down, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> got to clean it. It's got a lot of, like, bird shit on it and stuff. See, look, it's sold. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool, though, yeah. right? Yeah. Stylish. And uh, this is all mine, all the way up to... To where? I think to about, right about this tree here. This is where my property ends, where all this, like, erosion and shit is happening. This isn't... But the guy here, it's really private because he, um... His pool is on this side, and his house is even farther down, so I can, like, rock and get naked and be really loud, and he'll never, you know, he'll never hear me. And when we go to the back, that house is way up there, but they can't see me either. So, you know, when I have my wild orgies, you know, and everything, you know, they'll just be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing now? I'm working, can't you tell? You know, trying to make a living. So what's the idea? The idea is to take all the debris off the bottom of the pool and put it in a filter and then put it in that garbage pile over there. Mm. Yeah. You know, to keep this man happy, yeah. so he doesn't fire me. <laughs> well, see, this is my first pool, too, you know. I've never had the, the luxury of owning a pool before. Even everyone in Holland thinks all of us California people have, you know, cars and houses and swimming pools and live that plastic, crazy lifestyle. Well, it's true. Look at me. Here I am. Here's my pool. My cars are out front. Here's my house. Here's my daughter. She's got Ernie here. Okay. <laughs> She's good. Who do you have, Claire? Mm. Ernie? Mm. Yeah. Give Ernie a kiss. Can you give him a kiss? Yeah. A big kiss? Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> she likes to kiss Ernie, you know. That's her first boyfriend. So out here. I was doing some scuba diving earlier for pennies, but I found them all, so, you know. But it's kind of cool. And then I'll appear. I got a sprinkler system, and see this guy up here, he can't, he couldn't really see me, you know? No. He'd have to strain. In fact, I'm gonna have, like, the gardener build 
see like these two trees here, another big tree right there, so that would be like no way he'd be able to see. So yeah, naked girls running around, partying, yeah, baby. And over here is where I jump off from here, dive into the pool, right? <laughs> you get up here, you get up here. You know, this is where I do my one and a half, three quarter flips. Ah! <laughs> I lost, but I can't do it right now. Just, you know. I don't want you guys to get scared. But um, that's cool. You see that pipe sticking out there? Yep. Slide. That's for a slide, you know, a water slide. Really? Is that yeah, true? Yeah, yeah. So I can build a slide. I'm going to build steps up, you know, like six ladders up. Be <laughs> great. Pool. You know, a little pool house in here. Very nice. You know. So my slob and drunken friends can come over and, you know, I keep them out of the house. You know, they puke and fucking do everything in here and everything would be great. Very important to have. Good thing to have. This is the grill. Took up all those big steaks, you know. Gas grill. It's really nice. Got the garden. Some roses. Some jasmine. All this good stuff. Here's the master bedroom with the stylish pool of a bathtub. Look at this. Look at this. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest. I love this thing. This is my master disaster. Still haven't got all my stuff yet, but you, you know, nice sturdy bed. Do some serious, you know, you know. And uh, it's nice in the morning, you can come out here on the deck and hang out and have some, you know, cappuccino or whatever you might want. <laughs> You're really enjoying it, huh? It's great, yeah. yeah. Plus, I got a cranking stereo that goes through the whole house. Oh, yeah? Goes through everywhere, outside oh, yeah. the pool room. See, see like this thing here? Yeah. It's coming out. Oh. It's rocking. That was already in the house? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I got my big TV with the stereo cranking. 